Hey everyone, I'm here in Marietta, Georgia at the St. James Episcopal Cemetery. Many Marietta residents may or may not know about the grave that's located here. That's the grave of John Benet Ramsey. Now I've done a video on her grave before, but I wanted to stop by and take a look because we recently just passed, I believe her 25 year anniversary of her passing. So we're gonna take a look at her grave. It looks like some stuff is going on at her grave. Definitely noticed a few more gifts, possibly from people placing gifts from the uh, 25 year anniversary. She passed away at six years old um, in 1996. So let's go take a look at her grave. All right, and this is what we got going on at her grave. So there's a lot of caution tape actually around the grave of John Benet Ramsey and her her mother's grave, Patricia. Right in front of John Benet's grave is her mom. I believe she passed away of ovarian cancer. I'm not exactly sure. Um, right over here is the grave of Patricia's parents, and then. Right next to John Bonet is her sister, who died in 1992, I believe in a car accident. And she passed away before John Bonet's death. She's actually the half sister of John Bonet. Before we go over to John Bonet's grave, I want to take a look at this one. This one's a fairly unfortunate one because all this junk that the groundskeepers store their area, they really need a shed because. In my opinion, this is really disrespectful to have all this yard work stuff just packed in right next to his grave. It's just something that you don't want to see coming to visit the grave of a relative. It's Robert Page Culbertson Jr. who passed away in 2008, and I believe he was only two years old. Yeah, just reached two years old, so. Super unfortunate for something like that to happen to the family, let alone have the cemetery treat the area of your grave like this. This is something that happens quite a lot with other graves that are placed next to the graves of notable people or victims of famous crimes. They kind of get neglected. We'll go over here and take a look at John Bonet's grave. There are some new toys right here. It has rained in the past couple days and you can tell that they've been soaked. It was actually raining last night so there's no telling when these were placed but it is around the 25. We have just passed the 25 year anniversary of her passing so I imagine that they have been placed around December 25th. Yeah, there's something going on around here. I don't know why caution tape would have been placed if you're a resident of the area or you just know what's going on. Leave a comment in the comment section because I'm, I'm curious and I'm sure a lot of other people are too. So 